Hi everyone, Power to the Buster here, and we are going to take a look at the Game Informer issue 176. Um, let's see if I get it a little clearer. From December 2007, it is based on a Ghostbusters video game, um, obviously. Um, and yes, I'm covering up my <laughs> address and information, even though it's from like four or five houses ago. Um, also, my table is wobbly and yeah, it's just got to get a lot of things situated, especially for this to be a small room. So, yeah, let's uh, take a look, shall we? I'm pretty much going to just be skimming through it. So, and I guess talking a little bit, you know, um, or a lot of it. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, um, wow. This is when Uncharted first came out, pretty much. Well, announced, I want to say. And for the fat PlayStation 3. Man, I remember when I first got that thing. Uh, Burnout Paradise. Um, Add for that. Um, was this? Yeah, that was on PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation 3 also. Thought it was just Xbox 360. Assassin's Creed. Man, a lot of games premiered in this magazine, it seemed like. November 2007. Um, sorry for the glare that's over here, gloss or whatnot, but the way I'm angled, <laughs> the light is like hitting it pretty much perfectly. So, sorry if you guys uh miss out on some things. Let me make sure this book is even straight because, as I mentioned before, I'm at a, a very like weird angle. So, world conflict never played that game you know this is one thing i miss i don't even i haven't had a game magazine in like forever but one thing i do miss is the ads like the advertisements or whatnot um i wish we could get those back rock band oh man i remember when this was hot i just couldn't get into it prince said it perfectly if you guys want to be a rock star or whatnot, pick up a real guitar. Not a guitar with colored buttons, you know. But again, this was never my thing. So, yeah. It was alright when it was just Guitar Hero. Then it just jumped the shark. <laughs> so, uh, we have the table of contents. Um, I wonder how well you guys could see this. Let me check something. See if it's uh really that legible. In case you guys decide you want to read it, because again, I'm just showing it. You could pause it if you guys want, but yeah, seems like it's been a ton of ads. Like <laughs> right at the beginning of the book, like here's one for Dale, the uh, computer, which is right. What computer is this? XS? No. XPS. Huh. Twenty six ninety nine. I wonder how much this is now. Like how much it would go for. Two thousand seven. Wow. Could you guys believe it's been that long? I mean, you know, if you were around that era and not like young young, you know. Seemed like a long time away. Uh Spyware Doctor. Man, that desktop I had. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Adware. <laughs> and pretty much all kind of viruses was in it. I guess the guy I bought it from, who stayed across the hall from me, um, they were moving and he sold me his computer. And yeah, that thing was... Oh my God, there was ads talking in the background and everything. And, you know, I was an idiot, so I didn't really know anything about the computer or viruses and crap. But, yeah, I got that settled. So what do we have here? GI Spy. I think this was around the time that um, Ghostbusters was starting to actually come back. It was starting to show that people had interest in the brand before they did what they did with the movie. You know, I'm going to get into that later. I don't know if I'm going to do it this video, but I, I have a whole Ghostbusters thing to talk about. <laughs> so, 
um, Resident Evil, Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah, I hope that glare isn't too bad. I mean, from where I'm seeing in the viewfinder, <laughs> it's pretty bad, but, you know. Okay, all these commercials and ads for fear and time crisis. Plenty of games I never really uh, got the chance to play. Uh, what do we have here? The fan art. Invader Zim. Uh, December winner. Wow. It's weird to look back on things before the internet, like, blew up. But, yeah, I think my hands is pretty rough <laughs> right now. So, you guys going to have to deal with that. Bungie leaves Microsoft. Did they? Uh, I don't recall ever seeing Halo. Well, I think it's on a PC. Um, yeah, that shows how much of a <laughs> Xbox guy I am. Uh, what do we have here? Rock Band again. I do blue. This is around the time the Blu-ray and HD DVD beef was going on. And obviously Blu-ray won. I find it weird that these are like a nice colored blue and then it goes to this like purplish color. Let me see if I could get it closer. See, it gets into like a weird purpley color around here with these two and then back to a nicer blue. I like this blue the best. So, um, yeah, and it's funny because now I'm not an Xbox person, but it seems like I got to get an Xbox One X to get what I want to get with the um, 4K experience or whatnot because the PlayStation 4 doesn't have it. So, well, the 4K Blu-ray player drive, pretty much, instead of me just outright buying a uh, the 4K Blu-ray Ultra HD player super tamanatsuki whatever so, yeah um this was a top 10 dying video game trends uh not really i guess kind of because at this time there was like manhunt and if i'm not mistaken i believe that was open world also sandbox title but yeah uh what all do they have here? Uh, Super Mario. Uh, high difficulty. This is going. Because even on the Mario Kart, they pretty much hold your hand to steer. <laughs> you know, with the steer assist thing. Uh, extra lives is going. Cheat codes is going. They weren't lying. Uh, besides Grand Theft Auto. Uh, and again, not an Xbox guy, but I guess Saints Row. This is a... Uh, Kind of dead also. Uh, points. I thought this was 2D for a minute, but 2D isn't um, going anywhere. That's actually the one thing that held up and stood the test of time for the most part. PlayStation 1 games and these Polygon games didn't hold up so well. Um, arcade. What is this? Ports? Yes, I'm reading from a distance. <laughs> so, yeah, arcade ports. Uh, I don't think there is any arcades besides uh, the one thing I'm planning on getting. The uh, but I wish they had like three or four player. The uh, Pandora box, I would get it if they had three or four player. I'm still debating on getting the one that they have now, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Save points. I think that's still there. If they have automatic saves, um genres uh what they gotta say about this if you ever glanced at the style bullets <clears throat> in front of our articles you'll notice we apply some pretty loose terminology to most game styles and for good reason large-scale triple a games are rapidly expanding seem like indie games are starting to pop up if you ask me um Sure, Bioshock is the first person, but purely a shooter. Question mark. 
and all you Madden players out there. I don't know why I feel like I haven't seen Madden in forever. <laughs> you know, Superstar mode. Yeah, you like so much. Yeah, that's pretty much an RPG stuffed into your sports game. Hmm. That's kind of true, but still don't understand this part. Split screen. Yeah, that's pretty much gone. Um. Anyways. Empire Earth. Silent Hill Origins. Wow. I miss when Silent Hill kept it simple. You know, just some guy looking for his daughter. And then that movie came out and just, <laughs> I, I don't know. It changed the snow into ash. And I don't know. I mean, you know, it was an okay movie. I liked it. It was pretty much one of the better video game movies. But still, you know, I, a few changes. The whole storyline with the lady and every, it was, I didn't care for that. I, I liked it, the original story. Me and my um, wife, which is what I'm going to call her, because <laughs> we still fiancés after, shit, what, 10 years almost? We uh, played the mess out of this game on two-player. Memories before my son was even here. Siphon filter. Oh, man. I remember the PlayStation uh, 1 games in the magazines. I always seen Cypher's filter. Never played them, though. <laughs> I'm going to assume this is a sequel. Well, it's PSP, so I don't know if it's pretty much a remaster or what. And let me make sure these angles is right. I wish I could fix that uh, light glare. Because I'm not, I'm just using the uh, house light, so it's like right above me. I don't want to move the uh, table or nothing, because I already got this video started. So, Virtual Fighter Five. I remember seeing this. This game looked amazing to me. Uh, I don't know what this less is more supposed to mean, but oh yeah, you got the. This is the one I had gotten because I got this. Uh, Spider-Man with it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Dang, this book is before I even had a PlayStation 3. Mm, that's crazy. Yeah, here is something saying loose talk. If you guys want to read on that. Uh, Capcom shows his cards. More like crap com these days. Man, giving us half a game, and then you got to pay for the rest of the characters and such later. This game, did this even come out? I don't know. I haven't heard anything of it or from it or about it, but here's the app for it, so I don't know. Uh, Was this the last Smash Bros. I played? The last Smash Brothers game I played was the one when they added Sonic. Uh, whatever ones came out after that, I haven't played. I've uh, been meaning to. But, you know, I mean, I'm planning on getting the Switch soon, so I might play it there. Oh. Uh, what's this? Kane and Lynch. Dang. But you know what's funny? Even though I got some sort of nostalgia for this, it's never going to beat the nostalgia of looking at a 90s game magazine or early 2000s. 90s, I'd already, I think 97, I had a game magazine in like 96. But before that, none that I could recall. And the Game Informers, I started getting in like 2003. I mean, I collected a few of them here and there after 96 and 97, but nothing, you know, major. Tarot. I haven't seen that in forever. I don't even know if this game even came out. I mean, I would assume it has, but don't quote me on that, guys. Okay, let me get a little bit more comfortable. SOCOM. Uh, Tactical Strike. Never played that. Star Wars Madness. Wow. This is the one that was uh, in the Spider-Man movie, I believe. And Stranger Things. <laughs> if those are even the same ones 
But yeah, we have a uh, RoboCop. Uh, what is this? Uh, something from Halo. I'm not a Halo guy either. Uh, Soundwave MP3 player. Wow, MP3 player. That's crazy. Mm. Uh, <coughs> yeah, Star Wars hoodie. Wow, look at the figures. Did nobody know Star Wars would be the powerhouse it is now? Well, I don't know. It's kind of been uh, oversaturating the the brand and um, been kind of a mess lately, from what I recall. Uh, what is this, Conan? I heard this was a good game, actually. I never played it, but I heard it was a pretty good game. Bleach. See, the last anime I got into is funny because Naruto came out when I was starting to stop watching anime because I got to this point where I'm like, I'm not buying anime DVDs because I had tons of them. But then once it got to the point that <laughs> there was like two um, episodes and then the show was like canceled or whatever, I'm like, you know, that's a waste of like 30 or 40 bucks, which is the price at the time. I don't know what it would be now, but... Yeah, only anime I like now is full-length movies and Dragon Ball still. Even though Dragon Ball isn't the same Dragon Ball, it's it's Dragon Ball. It's by the same guy, and but something something's a little off about it. I don't know what it is, but something. But yeah, I I never got into Bleach, so <laughs> that that was the moral of that story. Uh, Assassin Creed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this magazine started to give action figures and whatnot multiple pages. I remember the V3 had that. There was a speaker system, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called, that I used to have hooked into my PlayStation 2. <clears throat> and I used to blast that music. Oh, my God. The game, everything used to be just epic. It was surround sound. And I cannot, I want to say it was 4.1 Dolby something, 4.1 something. I don't know, surround, but I don't render brand. I want to say it was like generic or something, but I got it from GameStop. It was pretty sweet. But yeah, we had the V3 racing wheel, which this isn't it, but <laughs> yeah. Because at the time, which I hate to bring the mood down, but my sister had died and well it went like this her daughter which obviously is my niece had died at the hospital so my sister filed a lawsuit against the hospital and my sister wound up dying which i'm not sure my my mom did not sue the uh ems for not coming to pick her up because instead the police came to pick her up and there was nothing they could do to save her and because you know it's, it's police they're not equipped for that she had an asthma attack due to the guy she was dating at the time causing it to trigger or whatnot but um yeah she long story short she died and <clears throat> her lawsuit and everything went to my mom and you know the at the time we was younger and stupid me and my brother and she gave us like a thousand each out of it and we bought games and that was the only way to cope so that's why it's like i have a special place for the playstation 2 but at the same time it's like love hate you know i, I hate it how we got it you know because we never had money or anything so the fact that we got that that way I I don't know oh and if you guys are sticking with me th this whole way in all the way to now I, I appreciate it you know I wonder if this zoom feature would oh that's too much zoom <laughs> okay but anyway not to bring everybody down but remember the iPod this is it's literally called the iPod classic here I believe this is around the time nose was hot I don't know was it I don't know. Or maybe they had the uh, iPod Touch at the time. And 
that was called a classic. I don't know. I don't know how that would even be a classic. Wasn't that old? I mean, the price is still high as shit, as you can see. So, I don't know. Um, arcade cabinet, which, you know, I had this. Never got into Sam and Max. I don't understand it. Uh, DVDs. This is around the time all the games started focusing on movies and other things than games, pretty much. Because look at this. Look at the whole magazine. It's... Uh, what even is this? This is... <laughs> you can buy Monopoly, which... Little did they know, you have a Ghostbuster and Power Ranger, every other Monopoly. Uh, I don't even know what this stuff is. Screensavers? Things? Jamster? Jamster. I feel like I, I recognize that name. But, well, it's a flip phone thing. It's like a, a site you go to, like, um, what's that one music one? Uh, Fun for Mobile type deal. But it looked like you pay for it. I don't know. Dang, that's crazy. My have the times change. I don't know what this commercial is for. Um, if I'm a little distorted or anything, because <laughs> I'm back and forth away and close to the microphone, would you guys like if I was this close to the microphone? Oh. Also, check out the Super Mario shirt. This is something you would see nowadays. But yeah, Chocobo's plush. Also, I'm going to start um, showing some of my artwork also. I got my own characters and whatnot, and I'm planning on doing a book. So, you know, you guys, I'll show you guys that. Uh, matter of fact, what is this? Because it's going to eat at me not knowing navy.com oh it's it's not a game at all it's just the navy.com also the pages keep bumping this thing at the top here so that's why you keep seeing it flip back uh, so so caliber legends uh never played or heard of that one and it's funny because i went through all these books whenever they send the books again we didn't really have money or anything so I looked through them and everything, so I've seen all these things. It's just, <laughs> it seems to be new again to me after a while. So here's all the games coming out in December and movies. There was a lot of media. This must have been when the internet was starting to pop off. So yeah, you have a, I think this was a comic also. You also have to excuse me because my vision now that I'm older is I can see things if this is up close like this or closer I can read all this it doesn't help that it's blurry though kind of on here if you guys can see that but from right here I cannot see none of that <laughs> I can see the pictures I don't know what these words is and again it's kind of blurry on here so that doesn't help anything so yeah there's that and here's Metal Gear Solid PSP. PSP never caught on to me. I don't think it really caught on as big as it made it seem. But, oh well. And here's the main event. The Ghostbusters. Oh, look at the tease. The real Ghostbusters. <laughs> you know, my thing is the real Ghostbuster. It's real Ghostbusters. And the movie real ghostbusters trumped the movie for me i mean it, it's very close but you know even ghostbusters it's funny because the more i'm watching ghostbusters 2 the more i'm starting to like it more than part one isn't that weird guys yikes but yeah back in january of this year a series of video games appeared on youtube showcasting a prototype of a ghostbuster game run on xbox 360 the internet went ablaze as fans rallied, rallied around the possibility of blasting ghosts. <clears throat> I remember that game, too. It was from, uh, I don't know if it was Zoot Fly, and it turned to Time O or some crap like that, but, man, that game was awesome to look at. That uh, prototype from YouTube, man. 
I wish we could still get that game to play. That was awesome. As a matter of fact, I think there's a magazine, a game book that has that uh cover from that game. But, I mean, this is fine also. I did not like that you did not have a creative player. <laughs> the one game, even Sonic has a creative player, something that I don't believe should have a creative player because, you know, it's Sonic. And all his little Sonic clones who I don't personally care for. But, I mean, I, I liked it when it was bare bones, simple. Sonic, Tails, stopping Robotnik to save woodland creatures. And, you know, Knuckles is cool too. Shadow is acceptable and Amy. All the rest of the muzzles, different color Sonics, mm, not too much. But, yeah, I don't believe that game should have a creative player because that just takes away from Sonic. And why is everybody in Sonic world fast? Does that like defeat the purpose of Sonic? You know. Um. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> this game, they should have gave you a creative player for that uh, fifth member. I I don't know why they didn't do that. Because I wanted to make myself pretty much. You know. I mean, the name was Rookie, so <laughs> only thing they had to do is to create a player. Um. Let's see what else is here. Uh, I don't remember this happening. Uh, this happened. All these happened. The Ecto-1 always looked it weird to me in that game. It wasn't the Ecto-1. It wasn't the Ecto-1. But, you know, uh, here's some of the tech. Uh, bring this page down some. Let me show you guys some. Here's what we got going here. So... Yeah, but yeah, the Ecto One was like super long in the front. I don't know, it was jarring, and I have no idea why no one could get Slimer right. <laughs> no Slimer has looked at like the first Slimer on anything. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this game was pretty sweet. Um, let's see, uh, you slam the ghost and then you. Uh, aim them to the trap and it sucks them in. Uh, here's a trap. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. It's funny because I keep getting off track because I'm looking at the book instead of through the uh, viewfinder here. And yeah, that's that's why if you guys see me off focus or anything, that's what's going on. Um, I'm not really seeing too much that wasn't in the actual game here. I mean, I'm sure I'm probably missing it. It's been a while since I played. I still have it, but it's been a while. The library ghost don't look like herself. And I don't know if I should do some Ghostbuster talk now and my theories or wait. I think I might wait. But yeah, this was the last Harold Rainus, uh Ghostbuster thing, too. And then you get the... Uh, PlayStation 2 one and the Wii, which I never played. But yeah, this was pretty epic right here. See, some of these ghosts like this is kind of sweet. Like an Egon blasting them. <laughs> yeah, some of these was uh, pretty good. I didn't like when they had like the skeletons and stuff. So. And that's it for the Ghostbuster things. Uh, what, which Ratchet and Clank is this? It was like 12 of them from what I recall. Tools of Destruction, Clank, Ratchet and Clank Future, uh, I don't remember that, is this PSP, no, it's PlayStation 3, I don't remember that one, okay, this was the last Smash Bros I had, because, uh, um, Snake was there, and Sonic, <coughs> oops, see, sorry for, uh, kicking that camera stand, um, yeah, it's funny because, like, I like Trainer. He was the best, but I just couldn't get into the game. I don't know. I don't know if it's because by that time I started being by myself and my friends and family, like, pretty much moved out the areas and stuff. So it was pretty much just me. So, and my internet was not that good to be playing online games like that so well at least for the Wii the PlayStation was perfect 
the we it wasn't. So I don't know. I couldn't get into it. I didn't have no one to play with really, <laughs> and the, trying to get into a match with someone was take forever. And yeah, Mario Kart worked pretty good. We we always got online on there. We did the two player thing though, um, racing. Uh, Black Site Area Fifty One. Never played that. And let me know what, if you guys like this video. I don't know if anybody even watch my videos anymore, but <laughs> let me know. Uh, Bionic Commando. This is around the time they change them to that dreadlock one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this was around the like the Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, is it three? I think. Which after two, I just gave up. I I couldn't get into three. Four is just ugh. I'm not even gonna attempt it. So yeah, to me, there is no Marvelous Capcom three or four. Midnight Club, Los Angeles. Why is this in here? We had a. Uh, I don't remember this. Did this get canceled or something? Because there's Miss Night Club, which I had, Midnight Club 2, and Dub Edition, and Dub Edition Remix or something like that, which I still have all of those. But I don't know. I had this. This was terrible. <laughs> that was one of my first PlayStation 3 games also. You're just too human. Just tone it down a little bit. Be a little less human. <laughs> Never played that doesn't really look that interesting and here we go with the PSPs again man never was a Grand uh, Turismo person I was about to say Grand Theft Auto I'm sure y'all caught that <laughs> but never was into Grand Turismo uh, I had the one on PlayStation 1 <clears throat> and the whole real life simulation thing just isn't for me I, I like the arcade racers never heard of this nor do I remember I even been in here uh, Saints Row 2, again, not an Xbox person, so I wouldn't really know anything about that. Cruising, like Cruising USA, Cruising Exotica, Cruising World. It looked like the font, so I'm going to assume this is this was a sequel to it on a Wii, but it looked like one of the throwaway shovelware titles. Um, I never played it. It, <laughs> it looked like a, a Nintendo 64 game, so... Yeah, I don't know what, what what even is this. What am I looking at here? Let me go over here. Ninja Gaiden Two. Uh, did I have this? No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> especially not on Xbox. You know what I'm thinking about? Uh, Shinobi. I had that on PlayStation Two, and for whatever reason, I thought that was yeah, whatever. Uh, that may cry for. Uh, I don't remember this one. I played it, but, and I'm pretty sure I beat it. But the only one I remember is the one where he surfed on a body, which was three, I believe. That's the last one I recall playing, or two. One of them, I don't remember. Is I don't know if this is the one where he has like the uh, rocket attack, like he put the uh, missile launcher gun down. And stumps on it, and then it's just shoot missiles everywhere. I don't know if that's this one. If that is, I, that's the one I had. Again, I had all of them. I just don't remember which it was which at this point. They all kind of just clash together like all the rock movies. All his uh, movies like Jumanji and uh, San Andreas and Rampage, where he's just some guy with a tight shirt and khaki pants. SmackDown versus Raw 2008. To me, they all just remind me of <laughs> Here Comes the Pain, which I liked, you know. Uh, but, hey. An ad for Star of Ocean. Star of Ocean. Man, I'm tripping. Star Ocean, first departure. I had it turned in a ton of games to GameStop before, and it was like 40 bucks, <laughs> 30 and it was like hyper rare and I didn't realize it because I was an idiot. And now I could got like thousands for them. 
Oh my God, do I regret that? Wow. And you want to know what game I got with those games? <laughs> uh, True Crime Streets of L.A. Oh my God, that that was a terrible deal. Never again. Never again. And if you <laughs> stuck through the video all the way to now, kudos to you guys. I mean, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. I used to watch this show, but never played this game. I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Never played that either. And enjoy you guys listening and watching and whatnot. But, you know, uh, to actually sit through it, that's that's something. Or maybe I'm actually putting you guys to sleep. I don't know. I don't know if my voice is okay or gross. All right. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. How you doing? This is Power Total Buster here, and I would like you guys to have a good night. Okay, that's probably terrible. Crisis Core, Final Fantasy V, VI, VI, VII. Oh. Never played that. Look at all these random Final Fantasies. Are these PSPs or something? I don't even think these came out. Yep, PSP. Man. I, I don't know what came out or didn't come out for this game. <laughs> System. Secret Agent Clank. PSP. Oh, my God. It's PSP. I don't know. It, I just feel weird about that. Anyway. Like, not cringy, but something's not right about it. Like I, It just wasn't for me personally, so... I, I don't have no the same feeling for a PSP like I do for a Game Boy or something. Anyway, Metal Slug 7, Dragon Quest. Um, if these came out, you guys would know before me because I'm going to do research on it <laughs> after. Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Step, PSP. This is a PSP Bonanza. Um, furry Furry Park. I had this. But it was called a turntable or something. This game right here. This was on... Um, let me see if I get it. A better look. It was on Game Boy Advance. It was like a, uh, a sushi cooking game or something. And you had to feed the people or whatever. We love golf. Um, showing my age because I love Hot Shots Golf. Dragon Quest. Everybody in Dragon Ball Universe got like the same... What, nine faces? <laughs> Including females. Like, just the hair is different for the most part. What is this over here? Uh, review index. We're almost to the end, guys. So, Call of Booty 4. Dang, that was like three of them before this? Yikes. Uh, head play. I don't know what that is. Oh, this one used to always get me. It's like so weird, like his body and I mean, you can see how it's photoshopped or whatnot, but still, I don't know. I, I used to like this thing. There's that manhunt. Um, PlayStation 2 was still getting games at this time. Wow, that's that's why. Um, and make sure the quality is still pretty good here. Tony Hawk Proven Ground. After Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, it was over. Whatever Tony Hawk came out after that don't exist. Resistance, Fall of Man. I had a demo disc to that. Um, never got to play the real game, but it seemed fun. Need for Speed. After uh, High Stakes, they uh, kind of went for me. Sega Rally, never played that. Clive Barker Jericho, always want to play that. Along with this one PlayStation 1 game called Jericho, not Jericho, Jesus Christ. Echo Knights and Juggernaut. Those looked at pretty interesting. Never got to play them though. Uh, they were like in a vein of Clock Tower or whatever. Which, man, I'm... Y'all wouldn't believe how much feels and nostalgia I got right now just thinking back on those games and looking through the magazines. In fact, I might bring out that magazine next time. 
if you guys are interested in these, which if you're not, doesn't matter. I'm going to still post them. <laughs> yeah, time shift. Time shift. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. I don't know no wrestlers who came out after <laughs> 2007. Um, I'm still in the era where there was a rock and sock connection and Stone Cold versus Vince McMahon or whatever. Um, speaking of them, I got the uh, SH figure arts of those. Uh, I should have showed those off to you guys. But that's going to be a video in itself. Seen it. Um, not Nothing I would be uh, too into. The Simpsons game. That's just it. Plain and simple. The Simpsons game. <laughs> Clearly it came out. It, it's got a 7.25 rating. I, I just don't recall it just being plain and simply called that. The real veal. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. This was a... Uh, the beginning of the end. <laughs> Once I seen this, I was like, you know what? Sega, I don't know what to tell you. I feel sorry for poor Sonic. He's on Nintendo consoles. and So, in the end, Mario won. On Nintendo, rather. Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. Never played that, but it looks pretty interesting. Asteroids and steroids. Oh! Um, I had an HD version of this. I don't, <laughs> I don't recall where I had it at, but I had, or shit, at this rate, I probably didn't have it. Somebody else probably had it on Xbox or something, and I just played it and thinking I had it. Or I could have just had it on a Wii, but I could have sworn it was an HD though, and we don't, I don't think I have HD. I don't know. Here's Ratchet and Clank where the platformers ended. The 2D era would be the SNES or whatnot. The platform era, I would say, would be the PlayStation 1 and 2s. So, is this PlayStation 2 or, no, PlayStation 3? Uncharted got an 8.75. Second opinion gave it a 9. Which, I don't know, I feel like it got more than that before. GameStop. Who would have thought Toys R Us would leave before GameStop? Oh my god. This is a world where you can never say never, folks. Uh, people say you'll never see Spider-Man on Avengers. Bam. They say Disney would never buy Fox. Bam. Uh, just things in general that you wouldn't expect to happen is possible. <laughs> Rise of the Ninja, Naruto. Now, even though I don't, I never really watched Naruto or anything. And again, that was when I was leaving the anime scene or whatnot. I still know the characters and play the games with my cousins. So, one of the fighting games, I don't recall which one it was, um, was pretty good. Uh, what is it? Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty? There's no Xbox uh, originals in here. Tomb Raider Anniversary. Looks good. I don't know what it looked like now. <laughs> Probably looked dated, but it looked good there. The Witcher. Why do I feel like this is a new game? Or it came out recently. Or unless that was called The Witcher 2 or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Age of Empire. Painkiller Overdose PC. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that PC type guy. I've been trying to get into PC lately with uh, the Roblox, but I'm not really a PC person. DS games, I couldn't really get into the DS. I don't know. That and the PSP. I, after Game Boy Advance, I was like off of uh, handhelds. The last actual Game Boy game I played was um, Sapphire Pokemon and uh, the Goku one. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends, I think. Uh, something Goku, I don't remember. Silent Hill Origins. Uh, what is this on? Uh, oh, PSP. This must have been the era of the PSP right here. And you have a game chart. For some reason, I remember this guy the most. 
Y'all probably missed so many things in this corner because <laughs> I'm looking at the page and not the uh, one thing. Had this, had downloaded it. No blood and gore. I was hoping like there would be limbs everywhere, explosions, and nope. In fact, I still got it. If I <laughs> if I um look through my library of PlayStation games on the PlayStation Four, it should still be there. I just never re-downloaded it or anything. Panzer Zigzag Goon. And with that being said, oh, not quite the end. <laughs> Wall Street Kid. Uh, I liked it when uh, Pat was uh, talking about that game. And what is this? Trivia. Wow. Remember this show, Heroes, or whatever it was? When uh, people liked it that. And yeah, Helio, enjoy mobile. And that, guys, is the end. Um, I hope you guys have liked, have liked it. Oh my god, I need some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. Still, double entendre. Anyways, if that's even what that means. <laughs> like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, hit the notification button, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully I get up to a thousand subs. <laughs> I have no faith in that happening. But, yeah, guys. I will catch you guys later. Um, power to the buster. Out.